He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Reverend Father, and dear faithful, today I want to speak a little bit about an important message which Father Matteo spread throughout the, the lands that he went to and preached. Now, we know Father Matteo. He is the great missionary of the Sacred Heart. However, there was an important lesson that he learned via a miracle that he took and made known many of the places he went to, imploring people to follow in this the footsteps which you will find out about. At one point during his travels, there was an eight-year-old girl who came up to Father Matteo and told him something extraordinary. She relayed to the good father that every time she came and received our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, that Jesus talked to her. Now, Father Matteo, when hearing this, on one hand looked at the girl, saw her innocence, saw her sweet disposition and thought to himself, well, it's no mystery why. But on the other hand, he, he knew how active the imagination of a young child could be. And that in thinking pious thoughts, she could conjure up in her own mind what would seem to be extraordinary apparitions. And so he had a doubt about whether or not our Lord really did speak to the girl or not. He decided to put it to a test. He told her, he said, I want proof of our Lord speaking to you. I have a request next time you talk to our Lord when you receive Holy Communion. Tell him that Father Matteo needs proof that he comes and visits you in this extraordinary way. And the reproof that I want is I want the conversion of a soul. Not just any soul, but there's a man in this town who is a notorious sinner. He, from his youth, has fallen away from the Catholic faith, abandoned it completely, and is a great enemy now of the church. It's his soul that I desire to be converted, and not merely converted, but I want him to come to me and make his confession. The girl told Father Matteo that he would relay the she would relay the message to our Lord next time she went to Holy Communion. About a week later, Father Matteo was hearing confessions from the same church, and the girl came up to him in the confession and told him that that man, the following away Catholic, the one he wanted who to come to him, he was on his way, and that he would be here soon, and he would make a confession to him. Father was surprised to hear this, and the girl walked away, thinking nothing more of it. Finally, as confessions ended, Father Matteo was leaving the confessional, the man not having arrived. But as he walked away from it, into the church, the sinner walked. And he came up to Father Matteo, and he spoke to him very kindly. And he said to him, Father, please, if it's not too much trouble, could you hear one more confession? I need to have my confession heard. But you must understand, Father, my confession is probably going to take a little bit longer. In fact, I'm going to need your help. I have never confessed before. I was baptized as a baby, and from that time until now, never once have I walked through that door to the confessional. And, moreover, I have lived a life full of sin. But he told Father Matteo, he said, I don't know why, but this morning, all of a sudden, it was any like any morning before, until suddenly I was overcome by an, uh, by an overwhelming feeling that I needed to come to confession, 
that I needed to unburden myself of all of that has weighed upon my shoulders the entire my entire life, and I needed to amend my ways and practice the faith I was born into. Father Matteo realized his miracle at hand, heard the man's confession, and he sincerely converted from that full point forward, living a good and holy life. A little while later, Father Matteo went back to the girl and he asked her what exactly took place when, he, when she talked to our Lord after she received communion. Now he fully believed that she indeed did converse with the Almighty. And she said to Father Matteo, well, when I came to him, I told him your message. And our Lord spoke to me and said, always ask me for souls and I will give them to you. And tell Father Matteo that he too should always come and ask me for souls as well. But our Lord had more to say to me, the little girl said. She re he re also relayed to me that if I wanted this man's conversion, it wasn't enough just merely to ask him. And if I wanted to do great good for souls in the future, I needed to follow the same pathway later on. Our Lord said, if I wanted the soul, I had to become a missionary first. The girl, eight years old, of course, confused by this saying, asked our Lord what he meant by that. How was she, a little girl, to become a missionary in order to gain this soul? And our Lord said, to be a missionary, you must earn three coins a day. And that's it. And then he explained to the girl, here are your three coins. The first coin is that every day you pray to him, meaning our Lord, for souls. The second coin, that every day you make little sacrifices for their behalf. And he said that the, these little sacrifices would be very pleasing to him, but most especially the sacrifices that come through acts of obedience. These were extraordinarily pleasing to our Lord. And third, that she must never miss Mass or Holy Communion through her own fault again. And that as often as she could, she should come and visit him in the Blessed Sacrament. With that, the girl promised to do these three things. Simple as they were, pray each day for souls, sacrifice, little sacrifices on their behalf, and frequent mass, communion, and visitations to the Blessed Sacrament. And with that, the treasure trove of heaven was opened to this girl, and great numbers of souls would be gained. You see, when we end a time like 40 hours, we know that we've come and we've done some time with our Lord, found that peace in our hearts, found that quiet to be soothing and a good medicine for us. We've laid petitions at his feet. We've asked him for help. We've thanked him for all the good that he's done to us. All of this and more is spent in that, relatively speaking, short period of time of spiritual advantage that was laid out before us. But the question is, what do we take home with us afterwards? If 40 hours is left at 40 hours, then we have missed the purpose of the entire devotion itself. No, 40 hours is supposed to draw us nearer to God himself. 40 hours is to, supposed to increase our devotion to him in the Blessed Sacrament. Forty hours is to make us realize what we truly strive after. Paradise itself, union with our Lord, pre being in his presence for all of eternity. And forty hours is supposed to help us to realize just where we should turn 
for our greatest needs. It is not to natural solutions, but it is to the Almighty with whom nothing is impossible. And so our Lord gives us simple instructions how to do that. We did those three coins by our acts of adoration during 40 hours, haven't we? We've come to him to pray and ask him for the souls, especially those most dear to us. We've come before him and setting aside time and comfort and perhaps even sleep making little sacrifices, coming because he has asked us, coming because the priests, we've asked you to come. Simple, humble acts of obedience and sacrifice given to our Lord. And by its very nature, a visit, an adoration, there under the sacramental veil, but it doesn't need to stop now. These three things we can do every day moving forward. Yes, perhaps you can't make it to, to mass or to uh, adoration every day. But you probably could do more to get yourself here more frequently. You could perhaps spend a little more time. You could entrust your petitions more to our Lord without worry of whether or not he hears your prayer. You could find him as that first, and first stop and most important stop along the way of what you desire and find union with him more sweet than you ever have before. Yes, you can gain yourself three coins every day even if the third one is merely an act of desire, making a good spiritual communion because physically you're unable to make it on that particular day here. But if you do so, you shall be a missionary. If you take those three coins and you grasp for them every single day, you shall do great good. You shall gain many souls. You shall aid our society and our church. You shall do great wonders for the kingdom of God. All from your simple, humble actions. If a little girl can do it, then we can too. If a little bit of faith will carry us to do extraordinary things, uniting ourselves to our Lord under that species of the blessed sacrament will bring us to heights ever higher. And if we pray, sacrifice, and come and make these good acts of adoration, our own eternity is as good as secure as well. Because God sees our hearts, he knows how much we desire the good to come, and he sees that the means by which we employ it are uniting ourselves to him. And if that's what we desire to do in this life, then he knows that is what we desire to do in the next. And he will see to it that all of the graces necessary and all of the opportunities which we need are afforded to us to ensure that that reward is ours as well. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.